So I I know someone who's hiring, if you're interested. Let me just read some things to you first. Uh, what are the qualifications for this job? Uh, there's really no qualifications, none required. Um, this, em this employer hires anyone. As a matter of fact, um, the less knowledge and understanding that you have of how things work in this world, the more successful you'll be in this, in this job. Uh, what are the requirements of this job? Uh, this is a full-time job, I have to say. It's a full-time job. Uh, and by full-time, I mean 24-7-365. You have to be <clears throat> um, devoted to this. It has to be a full, you know, every day, every year, full-time job. Uh, this employer is not seeking slackers or people who want to do just enough. This employer is seeking somebody who will be committed, committed, completely dedicated, loyal, and will do whatever is asked to, to accomplish the job. Uh, what are the benefits of this job? Well, this employer is offering, uh, offers the best benefits you can find anywhere. I mean, the, the benefits are unbelievable. Um, this, the pay that this employer is offering will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. And uh, in regards to the health care benefits and the retirement benefits, especially the, the retirement benefits, um, they never cease. Uh, they'll always be yours. They're yours forever. So if you're interested in working for this employer, uh, the application process is actually pretty easy. I mean, it's just probably the easiest application that you ever have to fill. Um, it's as easy as ABC, as a matter of fact. Uh, all you have to do is, A, you have to admit that you're a sinner, ask for forgiveness, and repent, which means turns away, turn away from your sins. B, believe that this employer had his son died, his, his son, his heir, Jesus Christ, die on a rugged cross to pay for your sins. He died and was buried on the third day, and he rose from the grave and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Um, he's running the Father's business right now as Lord over all of us, and we are his workers. And the C is you call upon his name and ask him to hire you, okay? Um, I know uh, I'm saying this kind of like in jest, and it, it's really, it is and it isn't. The Lord is always looking for laborers in the, in the vineyards. He's looking for laborers in the world. People who will go out and share the gospel um, with those who are lost. And I don't mean, mean to make light of people who are in, in need of a job. Because I know, I know personally many people who are in need of a job. And I'll pray. I'll pray. As a matter of fact, right now I'm, I'm doing a 50-day prayer journey. Uh, leading me up to Pentecost. We're on day 31 tomorrow. So um, I'm going to pray for those who are, don't have a job, for those who are seeking a job, because I know it's hard. It's hard not to have, you know, employment, not to have resources and finances to, especially if you have a family, to take care of your family. So I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to humbly pray for you that the Lord will give you a job. But this also is a job, working for the Lord. And it's the most rewarding job is, as I said here with the benefits, because the rewards, you may not see it now, okay? It's like in, in the stock market. If you invest in the stock market, in the stock, you may not see your re rewards right away. You know, for example, if you invested in, in Apple when it first came out, you know, it's a couple of dollars a share. Now it's thousands. Now it's like, I, I believe it's like over a thousand dollars a share. Now you became rich, but you had to be patient and you had to wait for that reward to come in. Um, it's like a mutual fund. It's like a 401k plan. Uh, but except these rewards are eternal, okay? Um, you, were, you will receive these rewards. You will receive a crown when you enter into his glory, into heaven, to be with the Lord. Um, so it's very important. And the reason I share this is because my uh, friend, a sister in the Lord, her sister went for minor surgery the other day. And I mentioned it in one of my, my last prayer video. Um, she went for a minor procedure. I don't know what it was. I didn't. I wasn't nosy. I didn't ask in detail what it was. But anyway, they wound up messing up, and they gave her too much medication. Um, I guess you can say that they kind of like overdosed her. Um, she was groggy. She was throwing up. She wasn't feel well. She was dizzy. Um, but thank God she's okay now. And I was texting my friend this today, and she was telling me, that her sister was really scared that she actually thought that she was going to die um my sister my her sister doesn't go to church for her i don't know what her stance really is with the lord but i know that my friend's been asking her to come to church um and she said that she felt like she was gonna die so i said to my friend tell her that uh the lord wants her 
not in heaven now, but he wants to hire her to work on earth. The Lord is hiring. And I said to her, tell her, tell her to accept his application, his, his job offer, because you don't know. You don't know when you're gonna take your last breath. You don't know. You might not have time to accept that offer later on. You don't know if you're gonna walk out in the middle of the street and get hit by a car, God forbid, or have a heart attack. You don't know. So this is the most important job that you will receive, which is asking the Lord to come into your life, Jesus Christ, to forgive you of your sins and to change you. And not only that, but to be a vessel for him so that he can use you to further his kingdom in this world, to reach those who are in need of not just a job, but in need of a soul saving job. So with that, I just wanna end with a couple of verses. I love to read verses, okay? Um, 1 Corinthians 5, uh, 15, 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Your labor is not in vain. You'll get rewarded. He'll bless you even here on this earth if you're fully committed to him. In Colossians 3, 23 and 24, it says, Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. Your inherent, what is your inheritance? As I said, is your benefits that you're going to get in heaven, the crown that you're going to receive in heaven entering into his glory and his kingdom that's an inheritance and then john 5 17 says but jesus answered them and said my father is working until now and i am working and that's why we as believers are to be working we are to be about the lord's work which is sharing the good news sharing the gospel of jesus christ and then finally in ecclesiastes okay um i just finished reading the book of ecclesiastes for like maybe that's five fifth or sixth time I love this book, it's so powerful, there's so many lessons in it. Basically, Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, he wrote most of the book of Ecclesiastes. He is the preacher that they speak about in this book. And he was so rich, he had so much, that he went out. He wanted to know, what what is life about? What is life about? So he went out and he tried all different things. He tried, he went on different journeys. He had, malt, he had wives, he ate everything that you can imagine he tried everything under the sun as it says in the book of ecclesiastes and at the end of the book what does the wise man say what does the preacher says he says in chapter 12 verse 13 and 14 the very end after all this that he went through he said let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear god and keep his commandments for this is man's all for god will bring every work into judgment including every secret thing, whether good or evil. For fear God and keep his commandments, for this is man's all. That is our purpose. Our purpose is to fear God, which means to reverence him, to uh, honor him, to obey him, to serve him. So I pray that if you don't know the Lord, that you will turn from your ways and you will repent of your sins, ask for forgiveness, and he's faithful and just to do so. And then ask him to come and be Lord and Savior of your life. But it doesn't end there. You need to continue in that walk. And repentance means to turn away. Turn away from the life that you lived before and ask him to lead you on a new path. And I guarantee you that all those inheritance, all those rewards, all those benefits that I mentioned will be yours. God bless you, my friends. Have a nice day.